Okay, so welcome to resin review of a new resin, amazing epoxy resin, crystal clear. And uh, tips for this is warm it before you do it. <clears throat> but so far, it's one of our favorite ones. And uh, a thing that I can show you really quick with our experience is that <clears throat> you can see, I mean, this didn't matter for my project. Like, you're not going to be able to see that when I'm done. But it just kept uh, degassing. Like, this took like 30 minutes. And it was still setting, and the bubbles were still coming out of the resin. So it was pretty... It, it it does well with bubbles it ends fastly sorry this is one of my projects and then um, oh I have to hand this to my partner because she's waiting on resin um, one of our suggestions though is to I'm going to show you is to warm it because it will one of them is really really thick and See, it's like super thick. Or is that the easy running one? No, no this is the, the thick one. If it wasn't warmed, it would be a lot worse than this. Here, let me move that. Well, I can't see my number. i got to hold it up to the light. Okay. I'll wait. I'm going to stare at your pretty design that you've done. And definitely, you ha it is by volume. You have to mix it. And actually, that one looks a little lower than the other one. When it was set on the even. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Up. Yeah, that looks pretty close. This is how we end up with sticky bottles. Yep. <laughs> I usually just wipe it off with the. And it usually takes about three to five minutes to mix uh, thoroughly, and we'll come back when she's done, and I will show you how many. There's usually a lot of bubbles, but I'll show you. After a few minutes of her pouring on her project. Well, there is a layer already poured on this one. Yeah, you can kind of see, like, the bubbles are rising. And usually what we have to do, after 10 minutes, it's usually all the bubbles are risen. <coughs> and we just, we can heat gun it far away from it, and it works excellent. Yeah, I haven't hit it with a heat gun or anything. It's just sat there for about three minutes, degassing itself. And it's already pretty clear. So I'll come back after she's done mixing it. So, in other words, shut the damn thing off because they can hear me. Oh my god. And I just went live. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so just so you know, we're crazy. Um, anyway, so I just finished mixing my batch. And as you can see, there are tons of bubbles. But... I'm getting ready to show you hers that has sat there for a few minutes. See, they're rising still. And see the clarity? It's like super clear. So, and she just heat gunned it. I, don't know, I know you saw the bubbles before, but now they're still coming up and they're going away. So it's beautiful. We'll come back as we progress. Okay, so this is mine. And I'm going to turn on the thing so maybe you can see the flashlight. Um, there we go. It's nice and clear. You see the clarity. You see the bubbles coming up. And that's after like five minutes. So you have a pretty good work time with this. I'd say 30, 40 minutes before it starts to get really like taffy, sticky. But I want to show you the clear bubbles. And I'm going to give you guys kind of a tip. Most people clean. Yeah, I know my workstation is a disaster right now because I've been working on projects all day. Okay. So this is normally for um, 
like people who do nail work, but most people clean with rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. All you do is press, press, oops, and squirt it everywhere apparently. Actually, that's kind of cool what that's doing. Okay, anyway. So, as you can see, there's a little bit, you have it measured versus dumping alcohol everywhere. So, it's just a tip to share. Um, I'll come back after a while with everybody's, like, her ending result as far as bubbles go after it's set for a while. With her project, she's pouring it now. I shall show you the turtle. She did that octopus, like... You guys gonna see this octopus. She did that. Isn't it awesome? So we'll be back and I'll show you after she's heat gunned. It should only be a few minutes, so. And this rips was starting to set. Yeah, I figured it was starting to get there because we had it set for about 10, 15 minutes and then 10, 15 minutes again. Every time I use the Thing. I end up with bigger globs and little stuff under the end. There we go. We're in focus. You see the bubbles are still rising. See, this project doesn't matter to me right now. I know there's lots of glitter. It's the mica powder. Um, but there's still some, if you just watch it, you'll start to see that it's not the mica powder popping. <laughs> but it is rising still. And with this one, I don't really mind if there's some bubbles in it because it is an oceanic. So it's kind of a purposeful thing, but I can let this set for another 10 minutes and it will all just come out. But hers, sorry, I had to move kind of quick, is, and she's going to add more I know to it, but there's the turtle. Turtle looks phenomenal. So there's still a few mini bubbles. And you can use a heat gun or a lighter. You just can't like focus the lighter on one spot for a long time or you will melt your mold just as a precautionary tale. Same with the heat gun. Don't hold it too close. You will melt your silicone mold. But we actually enjoy this resin thoroughly. Like it's it's a wonderful resin. It does some amazing things. I don't know if you can see the clear, but and that's gonna be a clear cell phone mold if it there's bubbles already still gassing but we kind of poured it late when her stuff was setting so there's always gonna be bubbles if you do that so but it's 30 40 minutes but for having that there is very few i mean there's one there there's a couple of them here some there and some there but no micro bubbles but i don't see any micro bubbles or anything else and usually when i pour something that's this tacky here i can't even get a toothpick and show you how tacky it already is. It See it's stringy? It's like taffy pulling. Yep. So that, it, usually if I pour it and it's like that already there's no hope for the project. It's going to be covered in bubbles. And with this stuff it's it was actually kind of part of the reason I did it. <laughs> it was because it was a test <laughs> to see how good it can really be. And I'm super impressed. See, and it'll, you can even heat gun it right after doing that if it doesn't settle immediately, and it will fix it. So, that's a good bonus. Um, we'll show you when it's complete tomorrow. I'll do another video. But overall, this resin is one of the best ones we've had. 